Upon your arrival, look for the guy with the computer. He will collect your fee and set you up with a shooter number. Your shooter number is used to track your score throughout the various courses of fire. Other than the firing line, the safe area is the only location where you may handle your weapon. No ammunition or magazines are handled at this table. This is where you will first holster your empty weapon. You may set down your bag and gear at the general staging area. Again, you may not handle your weapon in this location. The staging area is where you will load your magazines. If you need to leave the area to use the restroom or walk to your vehicle, you must set your weapon on the safety table with a slide locked open. This video is no substitute for the thorough briefing you will receive from one of our safety officers. Let's highlight some of the key points you will want to pay particular attention to at the briefing. Here our safety officer is explaining the 180 degree rule. It is critical that you keep your weapon pointed downrange in a safe direction at all times. Watch your sweeps as you engage targets and reload. Your safety officer will keep a keen eye on your muzzle. If your gun is pointed in the wrong direction, you will hear your safety officer yell, Muzzle! In addition to lateral movement, you must watch your vertical movements. We do not hamster hunt, nor duck hunt. Repeated violations of this critical safety rule will result in your ejection from the range. Trigger safety is mission critical. Here the safety officer emphasizes keeping your finger out of the trigger guard until you are ready to fire. Be particularly mindful while reloading. Again, you may hear your safety officer yell, finger. Move your finger outside the trigger guard and proceed safely. Your safety officer will also relay critical commands you will hear at the firing line. Here the safety officer and shooter are reviewing the sequence of instructions before and after a course of fire. Eyes and ears. The shooter and all spectators must wear proper eye and ear protection. Shooter, do you understand the course of fire? If so, load and make ready. Let's take a closer look at the load and make ready procedure. Insert a magazine, rack the slide, press check, holster. At the buzzer, the shooter unholsters his weapon and negotiates the course of fire. If you were finished, unload and show clear. Slide forward, hammer down. Holster. Line is clear. Let's take another look at the show clear procedure. Remove the clip, eject any round, show clear, slide forward, hammer down, holster. After the safety briefing, you will attend a walkthrough of all the courses of fire. You may ask questions relating to tactical procedures, Vickers count, hits required to neutralize the target, and firing sequence. To get a better sense of the various courses of fire, you may download the COFs from the TSSA.net website. After you've completed a course of fire, promptly return your score sheet to the scorer's table. It is helpful to point out the stage you've just completed. A key component of every course of fire is its reload procedure, discussed during the walkthrough. Let's demonstrate the three reload procedures used at our competitions. Here is a tactical reload. Here is a reload with retention. And here is a speed reload. 